Caitlin Elizabeth Pillsbury, you're my best friend and the love of my life. I'm amazed at all the adventures, memories, and cheeseless pizzas that we have shared over the past four and a half years. The countless hikes, dates, Penn State visits, and movies we have watched together hold a special place in my heart. You have always been by my side, making me laugh and smile like I never thought I could. You have always supported my aspirations and have cared, cared for me in ways that reflect how God cares for us as his children. I thank him every day for placing such an amazing, godly woman in my life. You are constantly pushing and motivate me to show love like Jesus to you and to those around me. Looking forward, I cannot wait to experience every season of my life with you by my side. I know things will get tough and we'll go through times of trouble, which may seem nearly impossible to get past. But I promise to do my absolute best to love you and to care for you every step of the way. I promise to support you in all your dreams and aspirations and to build you up to be the best woman that you can be. I promise to have a patient heart, even if you're taking a long time to get ready or having a hard time picking out an outfit. I promise, I promise to always be faithful to you and to be the husband that a beautiful woman like you deserves. I promise to always put God first in our marriage and have a fierce love for our family that reflects that. I love you so much, Caitlin, and I'm so blessed to start this next chapter of our lives with you as my wife. Jordan David Stern, you are the love of my life and my very best friend. Throughout the past four and a half years, we have been by each other's side for the best of times of our lives and some of the worst. I fully believe God put me in my life at the age of 16 because I would not be the person I am today without you. You have brought me patience in times of stress, strength in times of fear, and happiness even when life was dark. You're my favorite person. You can make me laugh harder than anyone else. You're just as stubborn as I am, and still the most patient person I know. You know me well enough to predict the next thing I'm going to say, and you're usually right. You challenge me to be better and to try new things. Because of you, I now love raw burritos and roller coasters. <laughs> you make people feel seen and heard wherever you are. You have a gentle heart that always makes me feel at home. Today, in the presence of our loving God, family, and closest friends, I promise to stand by you as your wife for the rest of my life. I vow to be faithful to you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I will encourage your hopes and dreams and spurt your love of tools and cars. I promise to pray for you without ceasing, lifting up your needs to God. I promise to give you back scratches as often as you want them. I promise to make every house that we live in a home filled with warmth and love. I promise to stay by your side through the hills and valleys of life. I will care for you when you are sick and adventure with you when you're healthy. I will strive to be a Proverbs 31 wife to come before you gently and humbly, remaining truthful and respectful for all of my days. I love you with all that I am. You are the greatest gift God has given me, and I am forever grateful. sweet boy. Today we are getting married. And when you see this, we will already be married. This day is all that I have dreamed about for the past four years and it's finally here. I still can't believe it. You're my person. The one that God brought me to. Without you, I have no idea what my life would look like, especially through the hard times. You have encouraged me so well, loved me, chosen me, and I've never left my side. Thank you for all that you are, for the man that you have become. Thank you for always leading us towards Jesus, for always pulling us closer to Him when we stray. It has been the biggest blessing to serve our Lord Jesus Christ together. Now we get to for eternity. I will strive to love you as the church loves Christ. This is it, forever and always now. I cannot wait. For the last time, my fiance, I will see you soon as we embark on this adventure of life together. Love, your bride. To my wife, as weird as that sounds, that's what you'll be when you hear this. I'm beyond excited to begin this journey with you. Through joy, pain, and struggle, I will always be there for you. It's hard to imagine exactly what marriage is going to be like, but I do know that you will always be by my side, and we'll be together for the rest of our lives. Today, I'm nervous, and I'm sure you are too, but I know that we'll soon wear off and it'll be replaced by complete joy. When you hear this, we'll have already spent our first trip together just relaxing in Jamaica. Man, I can't wait. Through the many years, we'll get uh, to go on vacations and adventures just us exploring the world. 
today is when it all starts, and I can't wait to be your husband. I love you, my Caitlin. It is my pleasure to pronounce that they are husband and wife. You may now celebrate and seal this union with a kiss. Jordan, you may kiss your bride. Woo!